Yo, what up? It's your boy Ant Wright. Do me a favor and hit subscribe. I'll be uploading at least four videos per week. Don't want you missing out on future projects. This is your channel as much as mine. So comment below who or what you want me to break down next. Young Gunner. Will Cheddar, 6'9", 225 power forward slash stretch five, and the number two player in Minnesota, according to Ryan James over at Prep Hoops Minnesota. He's a top 125 type of four-star recruit. Look for his recruiting to go crazy soon. He's been contacted or offered by Arkansas, Virginia Tech, Davison, Minnesota, Michigan, Richmond, Oregon State. I would say his game reminds me a lot of a guy named Luke Herringody, a former forward who played over at Notre Dame, uh, spent some time in the NBA as well. He could step out and stretch the floor and hit the jump shot, but a tough and a very strong rebounder, a high motor score in the paint. He'll chisel up in the strength and conditioning program, just like Heron Goatee did when he got to college. With his motor and size, he's already impossible to handle at the high school level. Heron Goatee was a double-double machine. I can see that for Cheddar as well. For his athleticism, I'll give him a solid B. Remember, 6'9", 220, 225, he still has a whole year left before he gets to college. I do like his explosiveness and ability to high point the basketball when he's rebounding or when he's rim protecting. I like when he's going off the bounce and changing direction, showing his potential to be a better all around player. Despite his large size and frame, he shows nice balance and body control when he's attacking the hoop from the perimeter. A little low, on his finishing at the rim, but he runs the floor very well for his size and can get out and transition. He's really good north and south. If he was just as good laterally going east and west with better agility, and if he can increase his vertical by just uh, like four to six inches, he'll be closer to an A minus or even an A in this department. Shooting and his ability to stretch the floor is an A minus. As big as he is, he's able to punish you down low on the block, which you'll see in the next segment. And then he's also able to create space and driving lanes for his guards. In the screening game, he'll have a choice. He doesn't have to roll every time after he sets a ball screen. He can pop for three and mix it up, causing confusion for the defense. He can punish you in the roll game and he can punish you just as much from long range. Slightly low release on his threes, but shows a good understanding of how to create space using his dribble or using his pivots. He does a great job at balking at the defense, reading to see if they're playing conservative or aggressive. He keeps it simple, you know, give him space, shoot a jumper. You're too aggressive, he'll go past you. He has shown the ability to hit threes off the dribble, off strong pivots, hit threes off of spot up and trail situations. He can run to the rim for dunks, then the next time you wait for him, he stops and pops from 22 feet. For his post play, I'll give him a solid B. I love his footwork with his drop steps and his ability to spin to the hoop, whether it's going baseline or whether it's going middle, with great footwork without traveling. Then he's able to finish at the rim with a soft touch around the hoop. You're probably wondering why he's a B and not in the A range. Now he does have a nice post up game, it just doesn't go over his right shoulder much. If he's facing a mobile big with decent scouting, I'd be interested to see how he adjusts if they take away his left shoulder, forcing him to use his other hand. He loves to fake and bait the defense like he'll use the right shoulder, but it's always a setup to come back to his left shoulder to use his dominant right hand. He has a full year to work on his right shoulder before he gets to a college campus. Dan Dockage. Can't guard me.